Hello everyone, uh, my name is Brad and I do box openings. And today the box we're going to be opening is Zendikar Rising, a draft booster box. And as you can see here, I have a Aura. This is a buy box promo for the set. And the nice thing they're doing with this set is that instead of doing a brand new card that potentially is uh, hard to get and causing a lot of problems, uh, they're just going to do a nice uh, alternate art, uh, full art foil for this set. And I assume going forward. So it's a nice little change. I actually appreciate it because that, that way, you know, there's no more issues. And uh, everything that you want to open in the set is actually in the booster packs. So that's a nice touch. So with that out of the way, let's just slice and dice and get this party started. Let's take out... Uh... Let's see how we do so I am going to save the our box stopper friend till the end. That way, depending on how well the box goes, we can either be happier, sadder, or somewhere in between. So that looks like it's made to protect it, so we'll leave that there on the side. And get rid of that, and let's get started. All right. The packaging feels a little bit, a little bit different. It actually almost feels like the original um, like package style. Definitely like different than normal. All right, so we're gonna go, oh, that's weird. So it looks like that's covering the, right. okay, I think this might be backwards. See, I told you something was different about these packs, so. So it looks like our first card is one of the Landfall Legendary cards. Now let's go through the commons. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything that stands out. I don't know this set too well. I mean, I've kind of been saving it for this box opening, so we'll see uh, if there's anything of, of note. Well, <laughs> we are gonna get a flip card, so that's good. Hold them up a little bit higher so you can see. And okay, Delegate Recovery, so that's the regrowth. And that's our rare, is a sh Soul Shatter. So looks like it's a control card. And then I think you get a foil, so Mara Mystic and our Full Art Land. Okay, so the back's basically in reverse. Okay, so let me just lay out these over here and put the rares down here. And we'll do Mythics and Foils and all that kind of stuff too. I mean, the one thing that is kind of sad about this set is that, I mean, these used to be like a huge part of opening up a Zendikar set. But, I mean, with all the other products that they've come out with over the years, and especially like the Unhinged Lands and a lot of the other Full Art Lands, I mean, it's just not what they used to be, all right? Oh, we got a cool insect token. Hold the air on that. Okay, let's fly through our commons. Ooh, negate, it's getting a reprint. Okay, so that's our own commons. That one, all right, so we get another, our flip card. Is Sajiri Shelter. And our rare is Kaza Royal Chaser. So looks like our wizard. Then a rare slot. And we get a foil Grakma. Awesome. That is one of the cards I am definitely excited about. Not sure if it's gonna be a constructed um, all-star or anything, but it's just a cool and look at that foil of oh, the foil, the island though. Wow, that whirlpool is really cool. So yeah, I don't know if Grakma is going to be a killer in uh, any kind of constructive format, but I mean, just look at that. It's a Hydra that when it dies, you get basically the same value. It's like an Umbra, but then you get bigger if you're playing a counters deck. Yeah, maybe some Abzian action, you know, a little bit of a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Get some fun going here. So let's just fly through these commons. Okay, so there's our First uncommon, second uncommon. And I always like to, like you start to see where the patterns are for where the cards are. And let's see what we got here. And so, okay, that's cool. It's like a, uh, like a spell pierce or one mana version, I guess I'm blanking right now. And our rare is Zagras, Thief of Heartbeats. And we get a forest for our troubles.
yeah, I mean, the first time I could touch these packs, I could definitely tell they're a little bit different. I mean, they're obviously not as waxy as the original Magic were, but they had that kind of like loose kind of feel to them. I don't know. It's hard to describe unless you've opened up like trading cards in the 90s. You kind of know what I'm talking about with some of those packs. You can almost like stretch them. It's got kind of that kind of feel to it. All right, so there's our first uncommon. Let's move into our second one. And then we get, oh, okay, that's a mythic. Okay, so it looks like there is just, so kind of like all the other um, like flip cards and all that kind of gimmick stuff, there's gonna be one in the pack. It'll just be depending on where it is located. And there's our other uncommon. And then our flip card is obviously our mythic here, which is Turn Timber Symbiosis. So we'll put him down there. Should we put him uh, maybe over here, track that a little bit. And our land is a forest. Oh yeah, I remember they were, this is how they're doing it now. So instead of having a checklist card, they're just doing it this style, which is, it is nice. And actually makes me wonder that if they had been doing like regular two or three uh, set blocks, like you probably accumulate a lot of those and you can use them with any set. And obviously this is the only set that's gonna have them. So kind of a move point, but save them from having to write out all the names and squeeze them in. Plus there's no confusion either, right? When you have multiple names on there. You can clearly see, uh, you know, the only name is on there. It should be the card you're using. So I actually like the change. And plus it's easier to kind of find them too. Like if they make any other kind of cards like that in the future, you can use these uh, to represent them. And even um, like other double face cards, right? I'm sure they would probably work as well. For like some of the older ones. Oh, so there's our second alternate art card. Which I understand, you know, for some people it might just be like they're worthless because you can get them in the collector packs and all these other packs, but ah, it's still cool to track. You know, even if they're not all not going to be winners. There's Roger Menace. And then you can see we get a Mythic, which is kind of the problem with these double face because it's like there's not really any suspense for it. But look at that. Seagate Restoration is another Mythic. So we don't have two. And our land is a forest. And of course, it's weird though seeing this because it makes me think that it's going to be a foil having the magic back, which clearly it has to have in order for it to be useful. But it's been a while since we've had double face cards with checklist cards that, and booster packs. Okay, so we got one of those. I don't even know what that is, but uh, we're going to find out. <laughs> Probably a full art double face card for whatever they're calling them. Okay, so there's our uncommon mine carver. There's Journey into Oblivion, which is another takeoff on Journey into um, Journey into Nothing, Journey into Nowhere. Whatever. I remember the original Zendikar had a Journey card like that. And then we have Shadow Slinger and our full art. So we get the green white dual land. Like how cool are that? That is awesome. They really did a great job with those. And we get a foil of Seafloor Stalker. So, you know, just a little Seafloor Stalker. And our land is another Plains. So, I mean, just looking at this set, I mean, like all the recent sets, right? You get just, there's just so much in the packs to open, you know. You know, something that's been playing for a long time. You know, I remember the days where, like, the foil rare was the one card that you wanted to see in your box, right? Like, that's where you had the chance to really make a big impact. And now it's almost an afterthought, right? Like how many alternate arts and how many, I mean, he kind of, all these different kind of card types you can get in different art styles. And just, there's so much now in the sets. And it's not even considering like the collector boosters, right? <clears throat> I don't know how long this is going to go on for in terms of the product, but it's fun while it this last. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what we get. So we get a Soaring Thought Thief, one of the Mill Rogues. Look at this. Okay, we get another Sejuri Land, our Shelter, and our Rare is another Grackmaw. Can't complain about that. Two Grackmaws. Awesome box so far. And we'll look at the art on that swamp. Pretty sweet.
I mean, I think it's nice too for even for like casual Hydra decks or whatever commander decks you want to build with Hydras, like to give them like a nice cheap option. That actually works in Hydras too. Ooh, a squid. Skyclave's good. And then we get a Prowling Feldar. Maybe over a little bit. Okay, there we go. Bastard Surge. Our kicker cards. Wall Mage Familiar. So another kicker build around card. And our Zoff Consumption. So our. Okay, uh, each opponent loses four life, and you gain four life uh, land card. And our rare is Valkyrie Exploration. Interesting card. See how it ends up. Maybe get a nice mountain. Wow, the foils on those, you know. Like I said earlier, even though they're not not quite as um, unique as maybe they would have been in the past, like the art on those is still amazing. And I'm sure the foils would look just fantastic. So hopefully, I'll get a chance to see one. Look at that art. Wow. So clearly meant to be used with the Jace that's in the set. But even if you're not, like that's just really nice art on the tokens. I will say the uh, token art has really gotten better over time. All right. Here's our uncommon. It's another one of our commons. And clearly we have Spike Field Hazard. So I think this one's pretty hyped right now. It's one of the better um, double face modular lands. That's useful, really useful on both sides. And our rare is Maul, the Sky uh, Claves. So our equipment. And looks like we got our foil, which is Cascade Seer. So a lot of blue cards so far. And then our land is another mountain. So there it is. That. So let's make our way through. So next pack, Tormenting Voice, it's a reprint. So it looks like they've gone away from the instant speed and gone back to our sorcery speed. And we get a new Lynx too. Is this a, no, I was gonna say, is it a riff on the original Step Lynx, but it looks like it's a little bit different. All right, so there's another uh, Horn Beetle. Our Night Runner. So it seems like we're getting a couple of uh, doubles in the uncommon slot. And here's another uh, block. So there is, okay, so there is multiples. I didn't realize there was multiples of the uh, come to play tap lands that are also spells. And our rare is Maddening Cafoni. I, I, I butchered that, I apologize. That is not my um, forte. And look at that awesome illusion token. One day I'll learn how to properly pronounce all the magic cards. Okay, let's continue on and see how we do. Alright, so let's again fly through our comments. Okay, so we get Amiria Captain. We get uh, Marasa Rootgate Grazer. Seems pretty awesome. It's funny, a lot of the cards now they use the Rider of like basic land, sure to, I guess, prevent some shenanigans, especially in older formats. And we get another Belgad Recovery, so our regrowth. And our rare is Torbrax Hope's Demise. So a pretty cool little demon. And he's a cleric too, so that's, that's relevant. As you can see by a buyer box card. And our foil is Kite Sail Cleric. Nothing too exciting in the realm of the foils just yet. But that's why they, that's why they put 36 packs in the box, am I right? Oh, there's an Angel Warrior. That is a cool token. Don't see that. I don't know if I've ever seen a non just uh, basic angel. All right. So let's 
There's our Mesa links. So aired Mesa and step links. Okay, so there's our foil from our earlier, um, uh, Amara Mystic. Surefoot Infiltrator. All right, so we get our little mana producer land. And our rare is Coveted Prize. So there you go. One of the cards that cares about parties. Which I'm not, at this point, I'm not convinced it's going to be a real thing, but maybe. I mean, I do like that they're also making decks like Rogues and Cleric decks, so it's not just about having one of every uh, type of party member um, on the battlefield, and you can actually just build around those types too. I mean, I'm a sucker for creature types and decks uh, based around them, so I always enjoy the synergy of that kind of stuff. Ooh, there's the, see the green. I think looks really nice. Like, look at that, Kazandu uh, Nectar Pot. So just a nice little uh, potential sideboard card against Mono Red if you're playing green. Gives you a nice little life boost and it is a body. I do like too that they've gone back to kind of sort of the the decks that were good back then, like Landfall. But then they also did stuff like Mono Red got some new tools. Which was obviously pretty good in the original Zendikar with stuff like Goblin Guide. All right, so Brushfire Elemental. A little bit of. You see, like the top there has got a little bit of uh, damage already on it. Skyclay Blunder. And another one are Black Flip Cards, Double Face Modular Cards. And our rare is Thieving Skydiver. And we get a nice little plane. So that's like one of the new uh, landfall creatures that's showing up in a decent number of decks. Look at that. Like, come on. How do you not love that? Like, even if the card is not great for any constructed format, like, that just looks awesome right out of the pack. Okay. So there's our uncommon. Roost of Drakes. And our. So we get a white. Land and take down. So removal spell. And our green mythic is Ancient uh, Green Warden. So this is the one that allows you to play lands from your graveyard. And if a land entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent, you control the trigger that ability triggers an additional time. So that's a pretty cool effect, right? Very unique. I don't know anything about uh, like I can remember that triggers off of uh, lands entering the battlefield. So love it. There's another one. Ooh, a squid. Look at that. This is just beautiful art on, on, on all these alternate art cards. Like, I really like the Ikoria kind of comic book art, but these are just as nice, in my opinion. Just really pop when you see them. And unfortunately, uh, no, sorry, unfortunately, unlike the uh, M21, which were, like, all just for these Planeswalkers, these ones, you know, you never know, really. Um, it's all landfalls on so many different kind of cards, so you kind of get surprised. Here's our first uncommon. Our second, Lol Mage Domination. I'm guessing some kind of, yeah, steel effect. <laughs> and we get our flip card is a creature. Kind of cool. And it looks like we get a rare in Archon of Myria. So this is the newest kind of hay bear ish card. And our foil is Kabir Outrider. So lots of blue, lots of white in our foils. And we get that awesome mountain. The mountain, if you will. Hoping for that uh, alternate art, Nissa, maybe. Okay, so this is Cleric of Life Spawned. Rock slide sorcerer. There's our flip cards where we get uh, instant trinks the opposing team. 
So I do like too that it's on like they make these kind of double face modular cards. A lot of them are kind of like niche cards, right? So if you can't, they're not useful in the match if you're playing. You can just put them as a land. And we get our Verizal, the split current. So it's very much a kicker based card. Uh, our mounting and our double face card. Relic file, very first and common. Spoils of adventure. We get another spike field hazard. Good card to have multiples of. Okay, looks like we get a foil pack. So our rare is Cargan Intimidator. So the old Cowards Camp Block Warriors, classic from uh, Future Sight. And we get a foil turn timber ascetic. And island and modular double face checklist card. I guess it's not. I guess it's not considered a checklist card anymore because there's nothing to check off. Ooh, look at that Drake token. Just angry, angry Drake. All right, there's a relic golem. Fad. So it seems like there's a lot of like nicks on the top of the cards, especially they like the uncommon specifically. I don't know what the hell what caused that. There's that, and it looks like we get a rare flip card and onto inversion, destroy all non-land permanent. So pretty good effect to have. And our land, or our foil, a muck lord, foil in our land with, along with our token. And there's definitely like you can kind of like even looking at it, there's seems like there's a lot of just air or like empty space in these packs. I don't know. Something, something's off about these, I don't know. But I will say the like the cardstock, I was I'm never I'm not an expert on the cardstock issues or anything. But I know for a long time they were very hard to kinda of, see how these ones kinda of easily slide. I remember like kinda of like having to like almost pull them apart with my fingers, like they were so kinda of like stuck together when you get them. These ones glide really easily now, so you know I'm sure there's more more pressing issues than than that. But I will say, like I don't know, whatever problem they fixed, they seem to have fixed that issue as well. So the cards are really nice right now. So there's our thundering rebuke. Who base camp? And our common land. It looks like our skyclave cleric. It's a nice game life card. And her heir is a Nahiri, heir of the ancients. Pretty cool. Goes pretty awesome, like in a commander deck, right? Built around. Ooh, and they have updated the. Looks like the bucket has gotten some uh, more action going on there. They built them up rather than just having the empty bucket with some water. Um, but yeah, it's good that, like, you know, the equipment decks for if you want to build on a commander deck. And you know, Nahiri goes right into that kind of set style deck pretty easily. Fly through that. Okay. Oh, disenchant made a reprint. Oh, that's cool. I haven't seen that card in a while. I know they're like really hard on naturalized for a long time. It's kind of the reprint. There's another Marasa. Concerted defense, and we get another one of these guys, which is nice that you're getting. Like I've seen like at least a couple, if not three of those. So it's good that they're not just like kind of holding back on those. So you have to, like they're really tough to find given that they're kind of one of the kind of uh, key cards in the set. And we get our Myriad Construct and a nice little Whirlpool Island. So, I mean, I think almost all the lands I've seen, like, so far, the art is just going to hold on. You know, the art in this set is, I'm just continually amazed, like, they just up themselves with every release, so. 
It's a little shame you can't like um, get a chance to go to GPs and see the artist there. It'd be really cool to see some of his artwork. It's like prints or play mats and all that kind of stuff. All right, so we get the Canyon Jab uh, Jaboa, the little mouse guy. Look at that. The demon's disciple. We get a Vassward Fortification. It's a little pump spell. A little weird expression on the face. And our the Wayward Guide Beast. This is our goblin guide for the set. And we get a nice force. So that was a little bit, um, I guess, controversial. I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of people were kind of down on that card and they got spoiled. Um, you know, I'm certainly no mono red expert, so I can tell you how well it's looking out. But I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up seeing play in some some sort of deck, especially if you're building around some of the new landfall cards and maybe an older format where you can play some of the great older ones with some of the great newer ones and just kind of take advantage of the fact that you're bouncing a land. I mean, obviously that's kind of the intent, right? Just abuse that. With landfall triggers, so it wouldn't surprise me it ends up being quite good. All right, so there's our concerted defense. Slight pickaxe. I really do like the fact that they're doing more of these colored um, equipment and artifacts. There is Skyclave Shadowcat, and we get another land, so Glass Pool Mimic. I do like this one, this one's kind of interesting. So I believe it's my understanding that only the mythics are the ones that can come to play untapped. There's a force. So if you do see So I do believe like those are the ones you're gonna see that are not won't come to play tapped. These are these nice mythic ones. So they just guess what makes the mythic. Alright. And these things are really glossy. I don't know if it comes up on the card, but like look at that. It's really, really glossy. Okay, there's a core blade master, skull shatter minotaur, minotaur, Kazool fury, and looks like we get a foil in this pack. So we get a relic robber, and oh, there you go, foil island. All right, I'll admit this is probably not my favorite art of the uh, lands that we opened, but. Hey, ain't gonna complain. It's a beautiful looking island. You know, even the not so great looking one is still pretty nice, right? I mean, it does take me back to some of the original uh, island art. I was, I was more of a bucket man myself, to be honest. I have a, like 20, 20 of the foil buckets, so. Form light. Ooh, the Geopede. So it's nice to see that Geopede also is a landfall. A homage to the original. And there's another cleric. And our mythic rare is Inscription of Insight. So a lot you can do with that one. And our land is a mountain. So, oh, here we go. It's our first uh, Hellhound is the first card in the pack. That one, that one's a pretty good uh, common to get the alternate art of. Definitely see that guy seeing some play in a bunch of different formats. I was a big fan of step links, so that's the uh, red step links. Okay, Blood Cheester. So I think this is like the premier removal spell in the set. So awesome to get that one. Another a Relic Amulet. Take down, and then our rare is the Arch Priest of Iona, <laughs> and our foil is there's that one. So this is the uh, discard a card from their hand. And our land is a plane. All right, so we're starting to get uh, make our way to the box. So I do a little bit of assessing. Uh, four mythics so far, not too bad. I think we still have to hit the rare though for foils, so we haven't hit that yet. 
Man, I remember some days you'd hit the double uh, pro rare box. Oh, man, it's felt like you win. The, felt like you won the lottery. And you're like, oh man, I hope I didn't take it from somebody else's box. But I can only remember like once or twice we didn't get a foil rare in a box. Generally, they're pretty good at making sure uh, you get at least one. And there's Windrider Wizard. Okay, here is our. Looks like a new one. Yeah, I haven't seen this guy, Akum Warrior. And then our rare is a Mythic. So there we go, Scourge of the Skyclave. So I was just watching uh, somebody stream of that card in the deck. I think it was uh, modern, actually. I think it's got kind of a Death Shadow uh, aspect to it. So this has got two left in this pile, so we're getting close. So it's a kicker, and when you cast a spell, if it was kicked, each player loses half their life, round it up. Okay. And start, uh, sorry, um, its power and toughness are equal to the to 20 minus the highest life total among players. Interesting. Oh, there's another one. It seems like that's happened a few times where it's the first card in the pack is the uh, alternate art. All right. Okay, acquisitions expert. Seems quite good. Even if it's the only card you're choosing there. Your party is very small. All right, so there's a song mad treachery. Not bad. I mean, I think it's worth it if you're paying five mana if you get the utility of making it a land. And we hit a rolling vortex. Let's get a bit of a sulfuric vortex on there. And our foil is Akum Hellhound. So that's probably been our one of our best foils, I imagine, so far. Looks like the lands. And a swamp. Skyclave Geopede. Nice, nice. And a cleric. Again, you can see there's a little bit. Actually, no, I was just in light. I thought there was another chip on top of that one, but it looks fine. Okay, and a rare is Kazandu Mammoth. So, pretty good. That, now, this one's actually pretty efficient, right? 3 3 for 3. The land falls get plus 2 plus 2. It's almost like you don't even want to like turn it into a land ever. The uh, efficiency of the creature side is pretty decent. Especially if it's in the top end of a landfall deck. Seems quite strong in that, that style deck. Alright, so let's oops. see again. We hit the first one. So this is Territorial Scythe Cat. Ooh. So this is kind of the riff on the one from Battle for Zendikar. I think I went into green more for uh, landfall creatures. All right, so uh, there's our thundering spark mage. Ooh, moss pit skeleton. Not the uh, art and the, the uh, name. And then we get another one. So this is wow. Well, there's actually a bunch because that's probably what the fourth black uh, land we've gotten. And then our rare is Frodo McKinney. So that's useful for obviously casting your kickhead spells. All right, let's just throw uh, so all these out of here. Save a little bit of space. Let's see if we can pull that uh, Nissa. I mean, I would say Omnath, but let's be honest, Omnath's probably going to get the uh, axe soon. Or those Cobra, or both, you know. Some sort of combination will probably get axed. Even though I know they don't really, they tend not to ban the cards that just got printed, so who knows? Maybe it'd just be Euro. That goes bye bye. Well, look at that <laughs> crazy art, Bubble Snare. Thwart the Grave. That's a cool name. The art is amazing on that. 
Allied Assault. Black Boom Bloom Bog, and we get a Black Bloom Rogue. So now I'm like curious how many there are, because that's probably what, fifth or sixth of those uh, for different cards you've opened? Well, I can tell our foil. <laughs> so we get Inscription Abundance. And more importantly, we get a foil Agadim's Awakening. That's really nice. I mean, I know the foils have kind of lost a little bit of their luster, now that there's like full art and full art foil, but still, awesome. Nice to see. Very nice to see. And that one, like, especially with the, the spirits coming out, it really pops. Ooh, look at that plant token. Crazy. There's the Fearless Fledgling. So that's a pretty good land ball creature as well. And Cinderclasm. We get the Kalini Ambush. So not bad, a fight card. Even if it's three mana, right? Still a lot of utility there. And our rare is Scatter Skulls Charger. If I forced as I land. I almost forgot that we have the uh, this to open up too. <laughs> Ooh, can it be battle off? So it seems like if you're going to get a one of them, it's going to be the first card in the pack almost always. Disenchant. All right, so Relic Axe. A lot of rocks in this set. Here's our Warrior Lord. Kindy uh, Stampede. A little expensive, and Sorcery Speed's kind of rough. And our rare is Confounding Conundrum. It's odd when you see the two magic backs, it like makes you think that there's like a foil maybe, but then remember it's a checklist card. It is weird because sometimes you don't you see it, sometimes you don't see it, depending on what you get. Look at that, a goblin construct. That is really cool. Don't know what makes it, but I'm sure I've probably opened the card already that does, I just forgot. All right, so we get Pair Tactician. Spoils of Adventure. And then another flip card. And our rare is a Mythic, Leyline Tyrant. So this one's very interesting, just because you don't lose red mana, which is normally like a green thing. I think the original like Omnath, he had that kind of ability. And then when he dies, you can deal uh, any amount of damage equal to the amount of red mana you pay into it. So, that's a pretty good Mythic haul so far. You know, even if we didn't hit some of the ones I was hoping for, getting six Mythics, right, is pretty uh, pretty impressive. Sorry, seven Mythics. Yeah, that was off. <laughs> seven Mythics in one box is pretty darn impressive. All right. Let's fly through these. That looks like a new one. So a little bit of card selection. And the rare is Swarm Shambler. So this is a pretty cool one. It's a little bit like Scoop Mob, I believe. Let me get one of those. So will we get a foil rare? Or is the foil mythic? I guess the foil mythic, I think, used to also count. Though I can't be 100% sure. Okay, veteran expunge, exp <laughs> veteran adventurer, uh, fireblade charger, and our land is another uh, Solundi visions, and then our rare is Violet, the world sculptor. Nice. I mean, I'm not. Even, I, I would have taken like a regular one, but yeah, I will definitely be excited to open up a alternate one. I mean, I love the adventurers and the car. I still do. While well, this is clearly a little bit weaker. Uh, you know, it's still pretty darn good. All right, so last pack, we have a Construct. 
little uh, hedron running around. So let's see what we can do. So we get another ac acquisitions expert. A rune crab. Okay, so this is the hedron crab that can now only mill your opponent. Making some waves in uh, like modern, I believe. And then we get another of our treachery effect. And then our rare is Craig Plate Bailoff. So a little expensive, kind of a expensive green dork. And our foil is a Canopy Bailoff. So our expensive uh, double uh, expensive alternate art card. So that is the pack. Now time for what I'm sure you've all actually came for to see what disappointment disappointment lies inside this pack. Um, yeah, if you saw my double masters box topper video, that was a wee bit disappointing. I'm gonna try my best not to uh, bend it all so I can just get. Ugh, it's like the glue is just and keep it flat. But. Yeah, they just butchered this one. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna, we're, we're gonna do a slow roll on this. I hope that if we slow roll it, it'll make it better. All right, so let's do this. Let's put a card underneath. And we'll slowly but surely reveal. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what the best way to do this is, but let's see if there's a power and toughness. Oh, it's a land, what am I saying? That was a stupid thing I've said. I'm sorry. All right, what color we got? So it looks like it's kind of dark. All right, I see blue. And it looks like black. So maybe a dark slick shores gonna go with. Two. Nope, that definitely looks like a P. I think we opened a polluted delta, folks. Look at that. <whistles> Pretty nice. That definitely makes the box worth opening. Beautiful polluted delta. Of course, you know what that means? Now you need to get like a play set of them, right? Like you can't just have one nice polluted delta. You gotta have a full set of polluted delta. So quick recap. Um, you know, we got our mythics there. So pretty good. Six regular mythics plus our foil Agadim's Awakening. Um, so you're gonna leave our prize there. Here, included Delta, and then um, yeah, I think we did pretty good overall. I mean, I'm not too sure what the the high end foils or uh, commons were. What am I saying? We got opened a foil Brachma, and I am, I'm sorry. I was, you're probably just like, what are you talking about? You opened a foil rail like right away. That's how like early it was. I didn't even remember that I opened this sweet Brachma. So yeah, awesome box. The only thing, the only thing I'm gonna say. Is I wish maybe we'd opened up another, a couple more um, of these beauties. Not necessarily even this version, but just some of the more of the dual lands. But I don't think they're that expensive, so, you know. You'll take your polluted delta, you take your, you know, seven mythics, including a foil, over having, you know, a couple dual lands you can easily pick up. So, thanks for watching. Um, I will be, be be back relatively soon uh, with another box opening. We're gonna be opening up a set um, box. So as I recall, that's kind of more kind of collector-ish, but not quite collector-ish. And then they have the list. So you can get to see what cards we're gonna pull from the list. Um, so yeah, that should be coming hopefully um, probably around the same time next week. So next Tuesday, Wednesday, something somewhere along that time. So that'll be exciting. So be sure to look up for that. And uh, thanks. And if you uh, enjoyed the video, make sure you like and uh, think about uh, subscribing to check out my other future videos on magic. You know, the